Here's the, uh, what is it, a Sanyo receiver DCX1970K. It's about, it was made in 1980. It's a Japanese receiver uh, made in Korea. Probably this saves a little bit of money. And you can tell by looking at this thing that they, they did make money. The internals of these Sanyos are quite good. The exteriors are okay, um, but the quality of material is not that strong. I've just picked this up and I've taken the top off because I want to show people what's going on. All the lights work on it. Everything's working fine with it. Cosmetically, it's a little bit rough and I think it's because of the quality of the materials. But really, it's all about the sound. But still, you want it to look good. It does look okay. Um, it's got a wood top with a, a veneer covering. There's the top right there. So when I got this, I turned it on. There was a humming coming from the left channel. So, okay, what is all that about? So I opened it up and had a look inside. Now you can see inside the, the boards are pretty much great, actually. They're sort of what you expect to see in all other types of receivers. But if you look, where is that one now? Look at that capacitor. I don't know if you can see it, but there's all this guck coming out of that capacitor right there. That means this capacitor is shot. So that humming is uh, a, re a result of the, um, probably the result of the, this needing to be recapped. When they see recapped, it means like recapacitors, put in new capacitors, take out the old ones. All these things are the capacitors. Take them out and then solder in some new ones. Generally, it's not very complicated. It just sounds pretty impressive. Oh, my machine's been recapped. It sounds great, and uh, it is great to recap them. Um, but my philosophy is if they don't need recapping, don't recap them. But this one obviously does need recapping. So that's it. Now this is pretty standard. It's got an on and off button switch here. Speakers are off. So when I always power up, I always turn my speakers off, then push power up. Then you have your A speakers, your B speakers, or your A and B speakers. Bass knob, treble knob, balance knob, and volume knob. And then your tuner knob here. And then buttons again over on this side for your loudness, your FM muting, and your tape selector right here. Functions go auxiliary, phono, FM, auto, or FM mono. What that means is that if it is a um, mono FM station, you flip it over here to my I don't know if these days FM is of the level it used to be back in the 70s but um, if there was a mono only FM station you would flip that over to mono and if you weren't sure you flip it over to FM auto and then the receiver itself will decide if the station is mono or stereo and then your AM selector um, that's it thank you for watching